Yo, today we're going to be watching Vino and Queezy's end game of one of the FNCS final weeks because I think it was like played like almost perfectly and it really just shows you simply how to take and keep high in this meta very well with katanas and they abuse katanas very well for the meta. So the first really interesting thing they do is they abuse the dead side of half half zone which if you don't know what that is for some reason still. It's about before half half has started closing, the majority of people have rotated into the first half of that zone, as you can see here. That is like actually in the zone, in the safe zone, so you don't get damaged. So when zone fully opens up eventually, there's gonna be hardly anyone in the last half. So usually if you can do that without any consequences, you probably want to be in that area. So what they did was just rotate into the very edge of half half and then once zone opened up enough for the half half to exist they just katana all the way into there now look how much of a better position that is compared to being over there with all those people like imagine how easy all the half half rotates are going to be now even if you don't like need to use your katana that's about half the half half rotates like imagine any half half zone that could appear here or even along this whole edge Look how easy all those rotates are for them compared to if you were in a team like in this position, right? And it gives them a lot of benefits. Like it'll benefit their mats because I mean, you might be able to refarm and then obviously you will have to use less mats because no one's really going to be shooting you. And then second of all, you're going to get first pick to your rotate. So you don't have to really use many mats to fend people off around you and in front of you that are holding you because you can obviously go to the place first like see here half half is over here they have the first opportunity to instantly go there so they don't have to use mats fending off anyone that's already been there because there's no one there so you may say it might have been like a waste of time like building a box over here and then katanaing in because you just wasted that random base you left behind and then built another one over here but i think it probably ended up being more beneficial for the mats because imagine if you were over here right and then you katana it in, you might get like this far and then you have to run with congesticide on your back and they probably shot you and you would have to build by here they don't even need to build as well like they just went over here and just ran around here where no one is and then they just katana it in and no one was on their back or anything so they didn't have to build until they got to zone so it's probably more beneficial for the mats that they did that and then they just positioned up really high on a half half because first of all they have a lot of mats so it doesn't matter too much and then Third of all, they kind of get priority of any pipe positions that are like near them when first moving up here, as I'm talking about. And then they do get more surge because they're only 300 above, they might go below. So they just get any surge they might need here. And also, it's just a lot safer being higher. Like, you always want to be higher up if it doesn't waste too many mats and stuff. And they probably get like the best zone they could get, to be honest. It pulls back this way because obviously, if zone went over here, they probably would not get higher. And then another interesting thing they do is instead of like not building anything extra and just sitting up here which would have kind of gave the vibe to these people that they don't really care about height and they might be able to take it off them they kind of build towards zone and go up and kind of look back and shoot a little bit which just gives the body language and the vibes off that like yeah we're gonna fight for height and you should not come for us at all because obviously look from these people's perspective it's like yeah there's no way we're getting high these people look very aggressive and they're like building off towards us and looking at us and stuff but they do get shot out which is pretty bad but like they are pretty lucky that no one else goes for height when they get broken out and they are also lucky that there's like these old builds and stuff that they can go to and they just katana back up safely up here and get high again and just instantly go up because i assume when there's no height for a little bit there'll be like a couple people here starting to catch on that there's no height and then they'll start thinking about it. But then when they see someone like Vino and Queezy instantly go up and just build like a monstrosity here, it like gives those people that were looking for height an instant reminder that there are people getting high. Cause like imagine if someone landed here like them and they just stayed in this layer and didn't build much. The people that were thinking about getting height cause there was no one up there, they probably still go for it without realizing there's someone new there. But they just made their presence known as soon as possible, I guess, that they had high. And then basic stuff here, just going up super, super high. Which is just basic stuff for the season that you should all should know because of the katanas. Yeah, though, I, there might be a reason they do it because they are Vino and Queezy. They're not dumb, you know. <laughs> they probably have a reason that I don't know. But they build, like, so much extra builds. Because obviously, I was thinking, like, if you're here and you look up, you're not going to try shoot that area where they're on. You're always going to, like, shoot the back here. Because, first of all, if they know from down here that that's only one layer and those are two or three layers, they're just going to shoot that because it's easier to shoot out. And, second of all, you always shoot as far back as possible 
because if you shoot here they might be able to reconnect you know so i don't really know why they do that maybe it was just a little mistake they made and they didn't realize because they just had enough mats anyway they didn't really care or maybe they had a good reason but that's just what i think and then yeah very very basic stuff for the rest of the end game until the very last point that's just interesting and then at this point 30 seconds until heal off queasy actually sends vino down just to start fighting people and like pressuring them away making them try to forget about queasy or just healing off oh damn that. <laughs> that was a good shot i really like like what he's doing now is like perfectly fine like he's not just full jumping in because he knows He's kind of playing a bit more safe right now because he doesn't want to die super early because he wants to keep the people that are next down from Queasy as least focused on Queasy as possible, just focus on surviving Vino's keen. So he doesn't want to die now because if he dies now, there's going to be 15 seconds of just Queasy on the high layer and then the next person blow him will just look up and shoot him down. So I am surprised here that he does die. I think, okay, to be honest, I think he did want to survive longer because he knew that he needed to like obviously keep the people distracted he does i think he just mucks up a little bit here because you see him chase that guy and he's like oh wait that it's gonna kill me and then he goes for the slurp juice and then he's like oh wait um i can just run into zone but then he can't run into zone and he dies so i think that was just a muck up but just so you guys know if you are in venus position you should try not die as like quick as possible like you want to survive as long as possible to distract the people below your teammate that's healing off as long as possible and then when the zone's like fully closed and you try to jump down and sue the people that are healing off and get some kills and stuff you know like your main goal is just to distract the people for as long as possible from your teammate that is healing off in the sky but luckily it's not too big of a like bad decision because he has a lot of heals and he has katani so high up and watch he <laughs> katana's so far away all the way over here just because I assume once you katana over here, like no one really has any chance of killing you unless you over peek and be dumb and they somehow shoot you like that. Yeah, I'm not going to see anything. So let's start looking for some more heals. And he sees the mid kit. He knows he can use the mid kit because he has a slurp juice. Because obviously if you don't have a slurp juice and like some health regenerating your health while you pop the mid kit, it's actually physically impossible to pop it. And then obviously there's some vegetables there and I also saw a mid mist over there. So he's obviously just hard chilling.